So it's either straight, Avery. you get it, and straight Avery. up the middle, or straight up the middle and cut it to the outside. There's no cutting back. You can't cut back on trap and counter, you got it? On trap and counter. Coming off a disappointing 2-7 and seven record last year, the presidents are changing the culture around the team entering the 2013 season. Come on, Springstead! Down! Way to work, way to work, way to work, way to work. In all but one game last season, the Presidents were either winning or trailing by less than seven points at halftime before tiring out. But head coach Brian Bellino thinks he has found the answer to prevent that this season. The well, last season, yeah, obviously a little disappointment. It's probably actually the most disappointed I've been. I mean, the biggest thing we've done so far this year is change our conditioning regimen. Try to get, try to get guys uh, a lot more in shape. I mean, starting in January, really, uh, this has definitely been the, the toughest preseason that I've run. We weren't really conditioned. Uh, second quarter it would be tied or it would be a seven point game and we just couldn't finish and other teams that were bigger and faster than us they, they finished us off so this season we've been doing conditioning sets three times three times each practice hardcore first hardcore last we've been doing a lot of team building stuff I think we're gonna be a better team all together because we're working hard I, I think we're gonna come out of it more you know better off than if we didn't run such a tough hard physical I mean training wise camp uh, what can we expect from you guys on offense this year? I mean, we return a lot of skill guys. We've got skill guys for days. Um, you know, we're, we're working on rebuilding a line that, that we lost four starters off of from last year. Um, we've got some great kids working hard lineman-wise. Matthew Pilk was back at quarterback. we got Mike Bryan, receiver, Avery Struther, running back. Um, you know, Justin Hoskins, Ryan Paul. I mean, the list goes on to skill guys, but, you know, Carl Schroeder's a three-year starter out on the line. He's anchoring that thing, and then we're filling in guys, you know. We got a guy, Brian McFarland's a senior that's really been working hard. He's going to step in there, and we're working to put the line back together, really. I'm the only returner, but I think we're ready to really pound the ball. The right side's new, and I got moved to center, but I think physically we can match against anybody in Section 9. We're a little challenged size-wise, um, but our defense is going to be fast. I mean, we're going to be fast to the ball, I think. We're going to be, we're going to really be able to, uh, to, to hopefully cause some fits for teams just based on our team speed defensively. We've got some hitters that that can run real well, too, so that's a good thing. Yesterday we had our first huge practice Oklahoma drills and I've seen kids hit like they never hit before. Uh, I went head on to head with our with our uh, 250 pound center and he was running the ball. We were just getting physical. Even our even our quarterback he was playing some defense and getting really physical. While making the playoffs is in the back of everyone's minds, the mindset around the team is to focus on one game at a time. I'll be honest, I mean, you know, we, we in the past we've said, you know, making the playoffs is our goal and, and you know, I've told the guys really this year you know, I think that's looking a little too far ahead. So right now, our goal is to beat Port Jervis on, on, on September 6th and, and move on from there with a new goal. Set, go. go, Matt, go, Matt. Good. And if conditioning wasn't enough to keep them moving, maybe their brand new turf field on campus will keep the players fired up. I feel it's all about pride. I mean, this is the most beautiful thing I've seen on our grounds, and it's great. Uh, I'm ready to step up on it. I think we're all going to get excited and do work on it. We want to bless the field. It's awesome to be the first senior class to really get to play, have our homecoming out senior ceremony. I just hopefully we can uh, come out with a bang, open it up, and really show what uh, Section 9 we're about this year.